said that you brought a, a few babies in the nation, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, don't know about that. I um. I I really somebody wanted to give me the label Shamika, mm-hmm. Queen Shamika up in uh, Pittsburgh, when I first when I first deli- delivered. Listen, actually, God, the honest truth is, babies deliver themselves. Mm-hmm. You just assist them mm-hmm. coming into existence. As, unless there's a medical problem where if she's not opening uh, enough as she should, uh, some other, you know, uh, a mouth fat functioning, babies deliver themselves. All I would do would be there to support the mother, to com- comfort the mother, and try to get her to understand that you, there's a whole, this is a process, and you need to practice the process before it happens. Because after, when it's going on, it's not the time that, oh, what do I do? You're supposed to know. So I tell them, if I know you from before you have the baby or before you go into labor, there, there's certain things I try to tell you to do. In labor, you don't want to cry, okay? Because when you're crying and sniffling, you're, you're pulling up. You understand? You want to be able to relax and let it flow. And the baby is going to born himself. There's nothing else you can do but assist him. And, and the assisting of him is relaxing, understanding what you do when the contraction comes back. Panting, or either you can, you can blow, you know what I'm saying? But you're relaxed. You want to be relaxed. When you tighten up, you're pulling up. So you want to be relaxed so that it'll go down. And unfortunately, nowadays, not many Earths want to have the babies at home. You would think that they still would, but back in those days, you know, Lord Kundalini, you know him, he returned. <clears throat> but every one of his babies, and he had 10 children with Queen Jemisa, and every one of them were born at home. And the older ones helped born the younger ones when they got older. Okay, um, I had Kayla, I went to the hospital with Kayla, but I was only there 10 minutes before I had him because I was home all that, all that time. But um, can do, because I went to the hospital um, <clears throat> to, uh, uh, after, not, not, not on Kayla, Kayla, I had at the hospital, okay, because I was 32. I had already lost a, a baby, and when the contractions got so fierce, I just got scared, and so I went to the hospital. But with Ken Do, I went to the hospital only because the sister who was supposed to be helping me with this, she got scared. I wasn't at the hospital 10 minutes before he was born. So that 10 minutes I could have stayed home, and everything would have been fine until I took him and, and, and register him to be birthday. So, so the thing is, a lot of sisters are, are scared. It's the fear. Yes, it's, it's, the the fear. Fear. it's the fear. It's the fear. And I'm telling you, unless you're having some sort of um, a problem during your pregnancy, most pregnancies go, go well, you know? But it's a matter of you understanding how to help you deal with it. When you're in pain and you you're tightening up, which is making it even more painful. And I try to, a lot of the earths would not go to the, to the uh, uh, birthing classes, because no, we're not going to do that. We're going to have it natural. But you ain't reading about how to have it natural. And she may not be reading not to have it natural. So even with my own self, when I had Caleb, I stayed home 30, 32 hours before I went to the hospital because after 32 hours, I got scared because I had lost, I had, had a baby in me that was dead for a while and they could not take the baby from me. They said the baby would have, the body would have to expel it when it was ready. So I understood how they were feeling, but now I understood that you don't, you relax. When you have a contraction in the beginning, when you have a contraction, you relax and you try to breathe. 
or you, or you blow. Okay, when the contraction, when you're getting ready, you will know, your body will let you know when it's time to open up, time to be, uh, take everything off. That's why ain't nobody, no man can, shouldn't be in there, but a man, you know, and take everything off so you don't have no constrictions on you. Because sometimes just the fabric felt like it was, oh God, that hurts. <laughs> and it's just like, you know what I mean? Very, very sensitive. And um, I had I had Kendu at home, even though we went to the hospital after me, because she called, I didn't have to go to the hospital. But she got scared and called them. And he was, he was born at home. They just took us to the hospital afterwards. And I still advocate for home births. Right, right. And I've done, it. I've done one, two, three, I've done four. Done four. From the same, for the, from the same family. I don't know if you know black, the black family from Medina. No. Black, you don't know black son? Oh, I do know black son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last four, his last four babies I did. Wow. At peace, home. Peace, peace. Yep. Peace. And that, that, they that, named that, one after me. That's peace, that's peace. <laughs> So that, that comes from like your... your my my practical nursing. Nursing background. Right. Because I was licensed. I still have my last license right in my drawer right now. now you, you are a registered nurse? No, practical. Practical nurse. Practical nurse. Okay. But you still had to be licensed by the state. And you, I went to school for that. I graduated and I had to take state boards. And you had to get your license renewed every other year. Mm-hmm. But when I moved to Philadelphia, I thought I would be able to get work as a nurse here, but the rules that they had in Philadelphia was I would have to have known, <clears throat> since I didn't train here, I would have to have known a doctor that I worked with to vouch for me to say that I know X, Y, and Z. They weren't accepting my license from New York. But I still have my practical nursing license still in the drawer. Now. I've really done more midwifing since I've been here, not Philadelphia, but New York, like I told with Black Sun, his last four babies there. And I've done a couple other Earths in Philadelphia. Uh, here, when I came, I mean in New York, here in Philadelphia, they were not into, they, when I moved to Philadelphia, they were more into, like the hierarchy, like in Philadelphia, they have a certain group of people who were the so-called, the, 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 I don't know what kind of word to use. The royal, the royal family. The royal right. Family. The royal family, that's how that's word. Right, like the royal family. Yeah, the royal family. Yeah, and everybody else was like you, it was hard getting into that, but they weren't dealing with herbs, the women weren't dealing with herbs. When I was talking about, when I came here, I was still, <clears throat> only in my early 40s, I was talking about having another baby. And they thought I was out of my mind. Okay? I was breastfeeding. They didn't know anything about the health food store, like the urchin now where I did. So I brought all of that here when I came. And still some of the women today still don't do that. But the majority, I would say, are more into dealing with the herbs and stuff like that. But of course, nowadays, people are out of childbearing. If I could have another child today, I'd have one. I like this synth mega. Do it again. <laughs>